Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching Top 10's Net, and in the video today, the top 10 shocking things you can legally send in the mail. In today's high-tech world of email, Skype, Messenger, Snapchat, and more, nobody really thinks about good old snail mail. Which is a shame, actually, because there are some pretty weird things that have been sent, and can still be sent, through the US mail. And here are our favorites. Number 10. Potatoes not only is it perfectly legal to mail a potato with no packaging, there are services that specialize in it. Mailerspud.com will send a potato to the person of your choosing, though they don't recommend the recipient eat said potato. Mailerspud is just one of a surprising number of potato post services, like Anonymous Potato, Mystery Potato. Mystery and potatoes apparently go hand in hand. Potato in the Post, which is for the UK, and there's also Potato Parcel. The last one actually packages up the potatoes, so it's hardly the same thing, but at least the potato gift remains edible. Other unwrapped foods that can be successfully sent through the mail include coconuts and limes. The USPS says that fresh fruits and vegetables are prohibited international items, but it seems that domestic vegetable mailings are A-OK. -okay. Number 9. A Tree Trunk Ripley's Believe It or Not, and believe it or not, that's a thing that still exists, conducted a strange mail contest in 2013 and 2014. 2014's winner was a tree stump that Pat Moser of King, North Carolina sent in. A storm felled the tree, and Moser found a horseshoe inside when he started cutting it up for firewood. The 75-year-old stump cost $30.45 to mail, and Moser won a year's worth of Believe It or Not publications. We're not really sure here why Moser decided to mail off a perfectly good horseshoe, but apparently the drawer of Ripley's must have proved too tempting for him. Number 8. Snow Have a friend who lives in a warm climate and hates it? Does that friend long for snow? Maybe they miss shoveling, making snowmen, or just spreading some snow around and making snow angels. Well, if you've got a friend like that, you're absolutely in luck. You can make their dreams come true by shipping them real snow anywhere in the United States. Ship Snow Yo is a service that will pack the real stuff into a styrofoam cooler, because who cares about the environment, and ship it via FedEx Express. The snow is sourced from, you guessed it, snowy places, places like Vermont, Colorado, and Massachusetts. No word and if you can specify the origin of the snow you're shipping. The owners of the company live in Massachusetts, so odds are on that they probably ship it from there when it's snowing. Number 7. Cats so you can't technically mail a cat via USPS these days, but it is worth mentioning that in 1897 a very ticked-off black cat was mailed via the pneumatic tube system in New York City. The pneumatic tube system launched that year, and it's pretty obvious that Rocketeers, the people who operated said tubes, were pretty stoked to see what they could get away with sending. According to an article in The Atlantic, they sent a fake peach, a flag-wrapped Bible, a copy of President McKinley's inaugural speech, and a number of other things through the fancy new postal system. The cat however, certainly takes the cake. The aforementioned article references a book by Howard Wallace Connolly, where he talks about the cat delivery. He says, The cat seemed to be dazed for a minute or two, but started to run and was quickly secured and placed in a basket that had been provided for that purpose. The first cat sent was just for laughs, but later apparently an ailing cat was sent to the vet via the pneumatic tube. Reportedly, the cat was clearly agitated. Apparently, traveling at top speed trapped in a tiny tube is not a cat's preferred method of transportation. If you do have to mail a cat, please seek out a private pet shipping service, because they absolutely do exist. Number 6. Scorpions no, this isn't a great way to get back at an ex. Good, but not great. Scorpions are mailable, as per the rules of USPS, but only when the intent is medical research or the creation of antivenom. The fun part is that the scorpions don't have to be dead. No, you can mail as many live scorpions as you want, if it's for the reasons mentioned. Live ones have to be double-packed, with no way for the scorpion to escape, because, well, obvious reasons, and the inner packaging has to be made out of stuff that the scorpion can't puncture. So, how does one go about finding packaging that won't kill a scorpion, but will keep it from damaging the inner packaging. Surprisingly, or not, there's actually a YouTube video with a suggested method. Whether the dude in the video was mailing them for medicinal purposes or anti-venom purposes is certainly questionable, but, well, at least now you know. Number 5. Baby Chicks Actually, under Section 526.3 of the USPS's Mailable Live Animals Policy, you can ship a number of day-old animals of the poultry variety. Chickens, quail, turkeys, ducks, emus, guinea birds, geese, and partridges can be shipped any time. Pheasants can be shipped between the months of April and August. There are, however, stipulations. The baby birds can't be more than 24 hours old, and they have to be mailed in an unopened hatchery box from the hatchery of origin. The box has to be well ventilated, and you have to be careful with the postage days because you 
you don't want a national holiday or a weekend to interrupt the postage. There are some other rules too when shipping day-old poultry, and if you're into that sort of thing, well, check out the USPS website because we've covered enough of it here. Number 4. Live Bees It's probably not as fun to mail live bees as you would first imagine. Sure, you get to handle live bees and ship them to people, and I mean, who doesn't love that? But seriously, with the worldwide honeybee shortage, we hope people are mailing bees to responsible people who will create good homes for them. The USPS tells us in 526.21 that only honeybees and queen honeybees are okay to ship. All shipped bees have to be disease-free, and queens are allowed to be shipped via air transportation. Drones have to go surface. All bees must be securely packaged and kept between 40 degrees and 100 degrees Fahrenheit. It's important to write live honeybees on the container and let the post office know there are bees in there. If you get worried about your bees, do not consult a beekeeping forum because those people will make you feel awful. Number 3. Children like cats, it's not technically legal to mail children, but people used to do it anyway. When the post office introduced parcel post on the first day of the year in 1913, people in rural areas all of a sudden had access to things that they didn't have previously. And, well, they went a little nuts with it. Take, for instance, Jess and Matilda Beagle, who mailed eight-month-old James to his grandma, who only lived a few miles away. No big deal, right? James was less than 11 pounds, the weight limit for parcel post packages, and it only cost 15 cents to mail him. They also insured him for 50 cents. Baby James's adventure made the papers, and other parents followed suit. It wasn't ever technically legal, but postal workers in rural areas often let it slide so that children could visit family members. Number 2. Trepophobia a service called Ship Your Enemies Trepophobia will ship five trepophobic photos to the enemy of your choice for the low, low price of $9.90. So what is trepophobia, you ask? Well, according to an article published by Popular Science, it's the fear of clustered holes. And what's the big deal about this, you ask? Well, according to the author of the article, the reaction to clusters of holes can cause nausea, itches, and panic. Granted, it's probably a sickness invented by the internet since the psychologists consulted for the Popular Science article had never heard of it, but since so many people seem to get the legit willies from pictures of small holes, it must be a semi-real thing. And because there are creative people with mean streaks, you can send photos of black drumfish mouths, bloomed lotus pods, and more to unsuspecting enemies. Good times indeed. Number 1. Poop if gross holy pictures weren't enough, a service called Poop Senders will ship gorilla poop, elephant poop, or cow poop, or a combo pack to a recipient anonymously. All of this is mailed anonymously to protect your identity, and it can be done for just $16. So the real question might be, is it real poop? Well, they don't really tell you. On the FAQ page, they say there is a mad scientist that mixes the smelly stuff and that packages get the point across to your intended victim. They've been shipping smelly poop-like substances since 2007. That's a decade of poop mailing that we didn't even know about. About. But the question, of course, is whether it's legal. Apparently, if it's all in good fun, you can mail poop. It's when it can be considered harassment that you get in trouble. For example, Poop Senders says their packages are for entertainment only. So you can send poop, you just can't send it maliciously. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below and do not forget to subscribe. We've got brand new videos just like this every day of the week. Also over there on the right, a couple of other videos that you might enjoy if you enjoyed this one. And as always, thank you for watching.